Hello and welcome to Stretford Paddock. This is day three in day Melbourne. Three. Day, day three in Melbourne. Adam the morning Bill. after the night before where Jim. we saw United beat the mighty Melbourne victory. The morning after the night before indeed. We're on our way to a fan event where we're going to get to see the new kit. Are you going to buy it, Jay? Never. We'll Hashtag you, glazes out, mate. We'll get you a nice small one to squeeze into. It'd be lovely that. Right, there should be some players and there. The there should be some yeah. fans there. Yeah. Let's check it out. people so as you see there's loads of reds here right now we are at federation square but you may as well call it federation square nice. right now isn't it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. no, oh, it's that, isn't federation it? square oh it's ready yeah. at this i don't know but it works it works it works i don't think fred's gonna be here though but there are gonna be a whole host of manchester united players here gone in the new jersey we've also already got to see brian robson Andy Cole looked a bit worried though, like, is this fella stalking me? Um, yes, is the answer, Andy. <laughs> I am. I have been for about whatever it is, 30 years. Yeah, so, where are you at? I don't know if that music means this video is going to make the cut, but fingers crossed and all that. Go on, Coley. You're at the MCG last night with a bunch of the fans in action seeing the Red Devils play at the Melbourne Victory. Andy, what was it like there? Got to be honest, it was a great atmosphere. Mm. It was an unbelievable atmosphere. Um, like, like you mentioned, when, when I played, obviously we came in 99. And it was a good atmosphere then, but I thought last night was really, really good. And the players enjoyed it. And I think the manager enjoyed it. I think this is his first experience of obviously touring Manchester United, especially in Australia. And I thought the atmosphere last like night was brilliant. Any standout players from last night's game? Brad? There's a few opinions here. But, um, no, I think uh, Martial um, has played really well in the first two games. Um, you know, so that's good uh, that he's back to some really good form, scored a couple of goals. Uh, but one of the young lads, I think Charlie Savage has done really well. In, I'm glad you all agreed. Uh, but I, I tell you what, I, I really enjoyed last night when you walk into a stadium like the MCG and two thirds of the fans are all in Manchester United shirts. Oh, yeah. I love that. For me, we don't use this 
won this game away, but I know this this game means a lot for the fans and has scored lots of goals against them, so Leeds. <laughs> Absolutely mental in here to be totally honest with you. I'm mashed. About six people are giving me drinks. I'm about a triple park. Joe, where are you going? So we're now heading to the ground. And I'm absolutely twisted like Keith. These Aussies have mashed me up. Ooh. United team's out as well. I would tell you it, but I got ripped last time. Oh, why are you telling them the team news on a vlog? They already know the team news. They've already seen the game. Oh, pathetic. Jay, shut up. How's the burger? It's got lemon in it, it's fire. <laughs> Is that my face? No. Come on, United! Look at that zoom in, bro. A few booze. But mainly, cheers, cheers for Harry Maguire. Um, which, look, people know what my thoughts on him are, but it's great to see some support for him because if he's going to get out of this rock, he's going to need it. Told you, he's back. Ronaldo ain't even gonna get in the team. <laughs> Mexican waves should be banned that football. Well, it's half time, 1 0 to Manchester United. Tony Marshall scores again, 3 in 3 for the boy Wonder himself. Not bad, eh? Is that Andres Pereira in pre season, isn't it? It's almost as good as that. It's really, it's good stuff. Sancho looking sharp, uh, Maguire having a good game, Marshall having a good game. I dare you. Oh, Dello and Sancho are building something down the right hand side. Anthony Martial has got Cristiano Ronaldo sat home shitting himself at the competition, mate. And Manchester United are doing alright. 2 there. 2 now. All about Tony Emery, really, didn't it? Pass him in the back, Sancho with a great pass. Donny van der Beek was involved. Marcus Rafferty. Tapping at the back post. Come on. Do more tappings with like that. It's matter when it's a dance ball. Oh, <laughs> Palace have scored. 3 1. It's only a friendly. You only come to see. You scars bastard. Three one Manchester United happy days. Will Fish got sent off, poor fella. Never a red. Never a red. <laughs> it was a red. It was a red. <laughs> it was a red, yeah. Back tonight is how some of the other supporters are bullying Harry Maguire and just you know yelling th abusive things out to him, swearing at him. You know, he even though his performances haven't been, you know, good, they 
we need to be getting behind him. Um, and real supporters don't boo their own players. I'm with Yash. Manchester United have beaten uh, Crystal Palace. I forgot who we played in. 3-1. Yeah. Marshall, Rashford and Sancho scoring. How are you feeling after that? They look great. They really look great. You know, seeing Sancho and uh, like Rashford uh, like switch wings like in between games. Rashford scoring, Sancho scoring, Marshall scoring, all three going all guns blazing. Really good. I'm so happy for Marshall 3-3. Three three. I think like this is going to be his season. I, I, or at least I'm praying it's going to be his season. Tell us tonight what you made of that performance. Obviously, another good result. What do you think of the performance from the players? Having a few was good, but honestly, the performance in that first half, the way we're passing the ball, you want to start to see that in the Premier League. I'm so keen, I'm buzzing. Just looking forward to seeing that in the Premier League, mate. Obviously, we'll be watching from home, but it was so nice to see it in person up, up front. I love that. You're buzzing. Proper mank, eh? What did you mean? Oh, I thought one thing I thought was a bit weird tonight. Harry Maguire getting a few boos. What was all that about? And this place, man. It's the meme culture, man. Everyone's going to do it. Like, we take the piss out of these players. People spat on him on Wednesday. They don't treat them like human beings sometimes. And it's always a few bad eggs that ruin the day for the rest of us. But we're singing his name loud and proud. When they're on the pitch, I don't care what you think of them as, like, players, their quality, they're playing for our team, man. So if they're on their team and they're wearing our badge, we're going to sing for them. I don't like McTominay. I'm still going to sing for him if he's playing for us for those 90 minutes. I'm not going to boo him. I'm not going to put him down. He needs to win me the game, mate. So that's just the way I see it. Like, why put him down? We've only made the signing of Terrell Malasia, Christian Eriksen and uh, Lissandro Martinez. What else do you think we need in this transfer window? <sighs> a good a good sitting midfielder, I think. Someone just to sit in front of the back four and just dictate that play, you know, fuck it. They can just link everything else together and the front three is looking good. Back four, decent. Yeah, someone just to sit there and dictate. You said the back four is decent. What would your first choice back four be for United? I'd say Malasia, left back. Lissandro Martinez, left centre back. I'd probably go Varane, right centre back. And I like Basaka. I love the defensive. I know offensive is not the best, but fucking them tackles he puts in. I'd, yeah, right back. You still think he can do something for you? I think so. I think so. Brother, what did you make of that today? I think the boys are pretty solid. You could tell they've been learning what Eric's philosophy. They control the ball. Their final third uh, execution was pretty solid. So I was pretty impressed with the way they played today. Marshall, Rashford, Sancho, what a front three, eh? Oh, if you told me that two weeks ago, I would have laughed at you. But Martial, if he plays and listens to Eric, He's a top six striker in the Premier League, so I'm really impressed with how he's playing and Sancho and Rashford are working pretty well with him as well. What did you make of the new boys, Terrell Malassia today? He played 70 minutes. He looked pretty good, I thought. I think so too. Ter Terrell, I think, I think I don't know if Tellez works in the centre-back, we'll see, but Terrell played very well. He's looking very strong. I mean, I mean, for Eric to make a signing like that, you know, he's got intent. He understands what's going to happen with him and I was pretty impressed as well. So, Adam. What do you think we need? We've got Martinez, we've got Ericsson. What do you think we need now to finish up the squad? We also got Malassia, don't forget, as well. Oh, I thought he was great today. He's too, he's too good to be even mentioned. <laughs> as if he's already played. He's already part of the team. <laughs> um, I think we need that midfielder. Even if we get Frankie de Jong, we probably need another one in there. Because you need a number six to come in, don't you? And if Cristiano Ronaldo leaves, you need some depth up top as well, yeah. don't you? What about a right back? Delo, Wamasaka, what if one of them gets, what, one of them, one of them, one of them get, we get rid of one of them? I think one of the best things about this preseason has been the relationship Delo and Sancho have kind of been building up on the right. Yeah. I don't mind Wamasaka, I'm not his biggest critic. Yeah. I actually think he has his uses, especially defensively. If we're playing big teams, I think he should come in and possibly do a job. Yeah. But Diogo, Delo and Sancho are building something. So yeah. I think let them continue to build that. More than happy with that. Easy. <laughs>